Hi boys and girls, welcome back to our reading of our chapter book this week, Cam Jansen, The Mystery of At the Monkey House. So last time we were together, we read up to chapter three. So we finished off with Cam, Eric, and their new friend, Billy, and they were buying some things at the gift shop at the zoo. And Eric went to grab his wallet in his pocket, checked the other pocket, and he said his wallet was missing. So we finished off with, come on, pay the man, Billy said. I can't, my wallet is gone. Chapter three. Are you sure you had your wallet with you? Billy asked. I had it when I paid for the bus ride and I had it when I paid the entrance fee to the zoo, Eric said. Cam closed her eyes and said, click. At the zoo entrance, you put the wallet in your left pants pocket, Cam said. Then she opened her eyes. Eric reached into his pockets again. Both pockets were empty. Cam closed her eyes. She said, click. A few times. Click. Click. Then she opened her eyes and said to Eric, come with me. I think I know where to find your wallet. Eric and Billy followed Cam out of the gift shop. They had to run to keep up with her. Where are we going, Billy asked. To the monkey house, Eric said, and pointed to the large brick building ahead. I'll bet Cam thinks I let my, my wallet fell out when I was walking on my hands. Honk, honk. Eric, Cam, and Billy stopped to let a gardener's truck filled with dirt pass. Then they went into the monkey house. Cam, Eric, and Billy looked on the floor of the monkey house. Cam looked up. She looked into one of the monkey's cages, then she ran outside. I found it, I found my wallet, Eric said. He opened it, and the money is still here. Billy walked over to Eric, he looked at the wallet. Then Billy and Eric looked at each other, and they both said, where's Cam? Eric and Billy ran towards the monkey house, just as Cam was coming in. I found my wallet, Eric told Cam. They're gone, Cam, uh, Cam said. Who's gone? Eric asked. The monkeys. The cage was full of monkeys and now it's almost empty. Cam led Eric and Billy to the first monkey cage. Eric's monkey and a few of the other monkeys were missing. I think someone stole them, Cam said. Billy shook his head and told Cam, no one would steal monkeys. The zookeeper is probably feeding them somewhere, or maybe the monkeys are being moved to, the, to another cage. So now we are at the part where we read at the beginning of the book. Remember. No, Cam said, and she shook her head. The monkeys are fed in their cage. Look, there are even some banana peels in there from the last feeding. And if they're moving the monkeys, they would have taken them all. Then Eric asked, where would they move the monkeys? This is the monkey house. Let's tell one of the guards, Cam said. Cam and Eric ran out of the monkey house. Billy was walking slowly after them. Cam stood on a bench and looked around. Then she jumped down and ran towards the lion cage. Eric and Billy followed her. A tall, fat guard with a big mustache was standing there. His arms were folded. He looks like a walrus, Billy whispered to Eric. Someone stole a bunch of monkeys, Cam told the guard. The guard looked down at Cam and smiled. No one stole any monkeys, he smiled and said. He turned and pointed to a padlock on the door of the lion's cage and said, no one can open a cage without a key. The guard folded his arms again. Cam, Eric, and Billy walked away. Cam and Eric were quiet as they walked back to the monkey house, but Billy wasn't. I knew the monkeys weren't stolen, he said. How can anyone steal a bunch of monkeys? While Cam and Eric looked inside the monkey house, Billy sat on the bench. He kept saying, I knew they weren't stolen. While Cam and Eric looked inside the monkey house, oh, sorry, I just read that. <laughs> Cam and Eric looked on the floor near the first cage. Cam whispered to Eric, that guard would have told us if the zoo moved the monkeys. I think they were stolen. Billy looked at the monkeys in the other cages and he read the signs describing the monkeys. Cam and Eric walked outside. They looked into the first cage, then Cam saw something on the ground nearby. 
She picked it up and said, look at this. Now I know those monkeys were stolen. Chapter four. Cam was holding a padlock. The top of it had been cut. Cam ran towards the lion's cage. Wait, Eric called as he ran after Cam. The monkey cage has a lock. But Cam didn't wait. She ran right up to the guard, held out the lock and said, look at this. The guard looked down at Cam and the lock. Then he looked up again. This is the monkey cage lock. Someone cut it and stole the monkeys, Cam said. Eric pulled on Cam's sleeve and whispered to her, that's not it. Try your key in this, Cam told the guard. The guard looked down at Cam again. Then he pulled a large key ring from his pocket. He picked out one of the keys and said, this fits the lock of all cages, but it won't fit that lock. The guard took the lock from Cam. He put the key in it. The key fit. The guard turned the key and the lock opened. Look at that cage, the guard said. He walked quickly to the monkey house. Cam and Eric had to run to keep up. Whoever stole those monkeys put another lock on the cage door, Cam said as she ran alongside the guard. The guard looked at the lock on the outside door of the monkey cage. He tried to put his key in. It didn't fit. He went inside the monkey house and picked up the telephone. Billy rushed over to Cam and Eric. What's he still doing here? He asked Cam. Shh, Eric said. This is senior guard Wally Russell, he said into the telephone. Someone switched the locks on one of the monkey cages and some monkeys are missing. The guard listened for a short while. Then he said, yes, I'll wait here. The guard looked into the first cage. Billy was right behind him. I knew those monkeys were stolen, Billy told the guard. I just knew it. Cam and Eric were standing by the door to the monkey house. How could someone sneak a bunch of monkeys out of a zoo, Cam asked. Cam stood there looking out. At the far end of the pass, she saw two guards running toward the monkey house. Behind them was another guard riding a small cart. That's it, Cam said. Come with me. Cam and Eric ran out of the monkey house. They ran past the guards to the wide paved road near the zoo entrance. Cam stopped near a small boy and a man who were looking at a map. Did you see an ice cream cart go past here? Cam asked. No, the boy said. But we did see one when we were looking at the animals with four legs and the really long necks. Cam closed her eyes and said, click. Then she said, come on, Eric. The giraffes are right down this road. Cam started to run off again. Stop, just stop, Eric called out. I ran with you to get the guard and I ran back to the monkey house. I did that twice. Then I ran here. I'm not running any place else unless you tell me what's going on. Cam stopped. She turned and she told Eric, when I saw the guard riding on a cart, I knew where the monkeys were. They're in an ice cream cart. Those ice cream men ride all over the zoo. And if you take the ice cream out, there's room in one of those carts for two or three monkeys. Maybe one of the guards with the cart stole the monkeys, Eric said. Cam shook her head. The guards had keys. A guard wouldn't have to cut the lock. But how will we get to see if the ice cream man has any monkeys in his cart, Eric asked. Well, we can listen for strange noises coming out of the cart. Or we can tell the man we wanna buy some sort of ice cream. I'll bet he'll say, I'm sorry, we're all sold out. Cam smiled and asked Eric, will you come with me now? Eric nodded and they ran together towards the giraffes. Chapter five. Cam and Eric ran down the main road. They ran past the camel rides and elephants to the giraffe's cage. They found the ice cream cart still there. There was a man sitting on a bench reading. We'd like to buy some ice cream, Cam said. The man closed his book. I have piggyback cones. That's a cone with two scoops of ice cream. You can get rum raisin and strawberry or chocolate and lemon. Yuck, Eric said. What horrible flavors. Cam leaned close to Eric and whispered. He really doesn't have any ice cream in there. He thinks by telling us those horrible flavors, we'll say no thanks. 
I'll take a chocolate lemon cone, please, Cam told the man. And I'll take rum, raisin, and strawberry, Eric said. The man opened the small door to his cart. He reached in and took out two cones. That's 75 cents each, he said, and he gave Cam and Eric the cones and two napkins. Cam and Eric paid the man, then Eric tasted the ice cream. Yuck, Eric said again. This stuff is terrible. That must be the rum raisin, the man said. Everyone hates that flavor. Cam asked, are there any ice, other ice cream carts at this zoo? Well, yes, there's one near the zebras and another near the reptiles, but we all have the same flavors. Cam said, click, and closed her eyes. Then she said, the zebras are all the way at the end of this road, right past the camels and the bison. Cam and Eric walked quickly down the road. When they came to a trash can, Eric stopped. He held his ice cream cone over the can and shook it gently. What are you doing, Cam asked. I'm trying to shake off the rum raisin scoop without losing the strawberry. Cam took the top scoop off of Eric's cone and dropped it into the trash. Cam wiped her fingers on her napkin and said, let's go. The ice cream vendor was sitting on a beach near the, not a beach, a bench <laughs> near the zebras. She was sleeping with her feet resting on the ice cream cart. She doesn't look like someone who has just stolen monkeys, Eric told Cam. Shh, Cam whispered. She crawled to the ice cream cart. She put her ear next to it and listened. Eric put his ear next to the side of the cart and listened too. I don't hear any monkeys in there. Eric whispered. Neither do I, Cam whispered. All you hear in there is ice cream, someone said in a loud voice, and ice cream doesn't talk. Cam and Eric looked up and saw the ice cream woman standing there. Eric stood and told the woman, some monkeys are missing. We thought they might be inside of your ice cream cart. Monkeys? What I have here is worse than monkeys, the woman said. As she opened the small door, I have chocolate and lemon. Rum raisin and strawberry ice cream. And I haven't sold a cone all day. Cam licked her ice cream cone and said, it does taste pretty bad. The woman closed the door and sat on the bench again. She put her feet in the cart. Monkeys, she said, and she laughed and closed her eyes. There was a trash can nearby and Cam dropped the lemon ice cream into the trash. She took a few bites and finished the chocolate and the cone. Cam and Eric walked towards the reptile house to find the third ice cream cart. They walked past a pond and a man was standing there and throwing breadcrumbs to the ducks and geese. Quack, quack, honk, honk, the ducks and the geese called as they chased after the breadcrumbs. Cam watched the ducks and the geese eat the crumbs. She listened to the sounds they made. Then she click, closed her eyes and said, click. And she said, click again. Cam opened her eyes and told Eric, I know just where those monkeys are, and they're not inside an ice cream cart. We will finish off our chapter book on our next reading. Have a great day.